Hello everybody, it's Pappy from Spiderweb Reviews, and I have a music album review for you today. <clears throat> the album I am reviewing is Killing All That Holds You by 10 Years. Uh, this is one of their, this is actually a release they did before um, all their um, other successful albums were released. This was kind of a pre-release, so this is the first album they did with their um, current singer. Um, it wasn't released a lot. Um, it's actually kind of harder to find right now. Um, they do release it on their website from time to time, so if you're looking for it and you're a fan of 10 years, uh, you can find it there. But um, it is uh, kind of their, their um, almost like a demo release that they did um, before they made it big. So um, with that being said, um, to get into the review of this uh, album, um, I'll start with the um, singles, which I gave um, one out of two legs for. I guess I should mention really quick that the total score I gave it was six legs out of eight. So um, that's my overall score. Uh, but hopping back into the singles. So I gave the singles one out of two, um, mostly because the couple of singles that they did release from this album are um, also released on their Autumn Effect album. So there was some kind of duplication there. Um, I mean, even though this this album was released before the Autumn Effect, um, because it was uh, not released as big, you know, these songs weren't as heard as much back in 2004 as they were in the 2005 or 2006. So um, there really wasn't anything new in this album when it came to the singles. So I was kind of disappointed that they didn't have any like other you know, big tracks that, that came off of here, aside from the ones they re-recorded. Um, for the non-single tracks, I gave it one and a half legs out of two. Um, overall, I thought a lot of the other songs on this album were actually pretty good. There were a couple, track five, which is called Blank Shell, and then track seven, Silhouette of a Life. Those two tracks, I wasn't feeling as much as the rest of the album. But everything else is actually really good, and I, you know, definitely would give this um, album a listen to again, you know, pretty much from start to finish. I mean, those other two tracks you might skip over, but um, overall, it's pretty good. The non-single tracks are definitely um, very good, so I gave that one and a half legs out of two. Um, when it came to uh, production is the other thing that I gave half a leg deduction on instead of the full one leg score because um, in the version that I purchased off their website they had four um, bonus tracks that were acoustic uh, live tracks and the they're they're not badly recorded although the drum is like t absolutely terrible to me I I can't listen to these songs because of how the drum is I mean it's, it's like the guy is just hitting a bucket I mean, it's it's really like that, and it was it's just kind of distorted from the rest of the songs. So I wasn't I wasn't feeling that at all. So from from a production standpoint, if you get the deluxe version like I have with the four acoustic live tracks, um, you you might get I don't know you might get a little annoyed with those like I did, but I, I guess they're not too bad. But still, um, they also have a track called Shelter, um, that's one of the acoustic live tracks, which I had never heard from the band before and it's not on this album it's not on any of their other albums so this is like a brand new track but because it's acoustic and live i don't know that wasn't quite as as good as i was hoping it would be but it is a track you won't find anywhere else so um, with that being said the other criteria i grade songs on and, and albums on you know so the the lyrics were good the the riffs are all pretty good um, and then uh, taking it live is also, um, I thought that was, I would definitely listen to this band live. I have seen them live before, so they're definitely a good band to listen to live. So um, with that being said, uh, Killing All That Holds You by 10 Years, I gave that album a 6 out of 8 legs as my score. So uh, stay tuned for more releases and videos as they come out. Thank you.